parishioners at worship in this Dili church that faces the rising sun. Many here are hopeful a new dawn is upon them. A joint Indonesian East Timorese Commission is releasing a report on Tuesday on human rights violations that took place while Indonesia ruled East Timor. If accepted by the leaders of both countries, it could be the first step towards real reconciliation. For Nonato Suarez, erasing the scars of Indonesian rule won't be so easy. Suspected of working with pro-independence groups, he was stabbed 24 times by Indonesian soldiers in 1999 and left for dead. I am not angry, he says, but I do not approve of their actions at the time. They had lost their humanity. Reminders of that violent time before independence are everywhere. Rubble where homes used to be, families with relatives still missing, and destroyed villages struggling to rebuild. In 1991, hundreds of East Timorese protesters marched along this street when the Indonesian army opened fire on them. They came running into the cemetery to try to seek shelter, but many of them ended up dead. It's what's known here now as the massacre that finally brought the world's attention to the East Timorese problem. Burying the past isn't the only way towards a better future. The East Timorese paid a heavy price for their independence, and they hope their government doesn't now sacrifice their dignity in deference to their larger neighbor. Solid reconciliation should be passed through a justice. I have no doubt. Does, does, doesn't mean uh, really punishment, but justice is it's very important. We still have a long way to go, but the, above all, we need good relations with, with, between Timor-Leste and Indonesia. We need to improve this relation, friendship. The last six years have not been easy for this young nation. East Timor remains one of the poorest countries in Asia, many still in refugee camps after being displaced in 2006 by fresh violence between internal factions. This man says, despite continuing problems, he wouldn't trade in their independence. They continue to pray for progress and a stable peace, for justice and reconciliation, to be treated as equals by their former rulers and reclaim their dignity one step at a time. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Dili, East Timor.